Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to my channel, The Auction Spy. Um, this is the uh, YouTube channel where we look at properties going into auction, I appraise them, find out uh, what the different strategies that can be applied to the properties are. And uh, once we've appraised and agreed a strategy, we then wait for the auction to go through. And from the asking price or from the purchase price rather, we then determine what strategy is likely going to be applied to the to the property. But through going through this whole process, I've seen that I've tended to cover quite a few similar types of properties. So today I want to look at something in Brighton, East Sussex. Okay, so as usual, I go through the EIG Property Auctions website. Uh, it's a subscription uh, site and it shows you a lot of um, auction properties. This certainly looks interesting. Uh, you got this one, uh, Flat 7 uh, Marine Parade. That's a ground floor studio flat, 100 to 110,000. This one looks interesting, the Glen O'Fen. Um, the next one down, uh, this one's a freehold detached mixed mixed building, five floors. Okay, uh, ground rent on nine flats. Okay, well today I am going to do something slightly different. Um, go for this one, the first one, which is mixed use. And that's 127 Kings Road Arches. Um, now, description shows it's uh, six floors um, and what's for sale is the um, lower ground uh, slash ground floor restaurant which is vacant and the f first floor office with ground rents on five self-contained flats so if it's six floors and there's ground rent on five flats and one of the flats or one of the floors is a restaurant and um, not quite sure what this first floor office is Okay, let's look at the catalog. Right. Okay, uh, 127 Kings Road, Brighton. All right, so it fronts directly onto the seafront, which is nice. Uh, Brighton can be quite cool. I uh, don't know the area too well, but I'd imagine that it's uh, in the nicer part of town. Um, okay, so the guide price is 500 to 550. Now, let's appraise and see uh what the potential is, uh, is so the garage adjoins that which is a two-story detached house built in 2005 on a similar size plot it is possible that the garage could be demolished and a similar property built okay so they reckon there's a development opportunity here right okay two-story Okay, well, this will be subject to planning, and uh, as with uh, planning, it is fraught with risk. Um, but we have to appraise based on what we see as of today, and based of based on that, I would say let's look at the uh, legal pack. Right. So there are there are some opportunities which they're trying to highlight in this in this advert. Um, so they've mentioned right right at the bottom here. There's a there's a, there's this planning opportunity. It's one to investigate uh, before going to to bid at the auction. Um, then they're they're also highlighting that three of the flats. Um, uh, three of the flats have really low leases at 55 years uh, and the reason they say that is generally in the UK if flats have uh, leases below some say 60 some say 80 whatever anything below 80 tends to be quite difficult to um, to to mortgage so uh, if the owners of those flats are likely to extend the lease there is an opportunity there to make some money because it would have to pay you to get that additional lease um, up by 90, uh, 90 years. So um, three of those means that there's an opportunity there. Now, if you are looking to work out how much you could put, 
potentially get um, there's a site called uh, leaseholdportal.co.uk you can go in there I've already put in the details and what happens is they, they you, you give you give the address you give the current lease length and the current value and they work out roughly how much you should expect so I've done that already and they came back with uh, 35,000 pounds for each one so that's 35,000 pounds times three so that's potential income so based on that um, so you could get that there's no guarantee you get it because if if the leaseholders choose not to extend the lease um, then you just sit on the property and not make anything and looking at some of the legal documents that are downloaded already I couldn't see any indication as to what ground rent is being paid so you have to assume there's no ground rent because a lot of a lot of these flats tend to have really really minimal ground rents peppercorn um so i looked at this budget uh 20, 2019 i don't see any ground entry for ground rent uh these are the costs that everyone in the building will have to contribute towards so there's ten ten thousand pounds Obviously, if you purchase this building and you're getting the whole freehold, then uh, you'd have to earmark that while you'd be paying yourself, essentially. Um, one of the leases, I think it might have been this one, that um, indicated as peppercorn. And peppercorn is really zero, uh, but you can't have a lease paying zero, so it's, it's just uh, really, um, it's just uh, symbolic essentially uh, on each of the usual quarter days in the first year of the set term let's see shall pay to the authority 19 pounds 50 pence okay um, so what's that for is that the ground rent yeah so I'm just reading this bit here Okay, so this is this is where um, again you need to get a solicitor to review the legal pack. This is fairly substantial, so expect to pay a certain um, a significant amount to the solicitor. But if you if you purchase it and you use the same solicitor, uh, often they would uh, deduct what you paid for the review of the legal pack from your eventual uh, fee. Um, so the special conditions of sale. Let's have a look at that. Uh, okay, so download it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so name and address of seller. Okay. So this does. Okay, so they're selling the freehold, which is good. Uh, so your deposit will be ten percent, which is expected. 4% over base rate. It's not bad. Okay. Completion is 20 working days. That's four weeks. Okay, there's no VAT. I like these sorts of special conditions because everything is clearly, clearly marked and this this often bodes well. So upon completion, the buyer shall reimburse the seller a sum of 1800 plus VAT towards the seller's legal costs. Okay, so you know up front you have this 1800 pounds to pay. Uh, and here it talks about the different leases. At least on the ground floor flat dated that. Okay, and these are all long leases. Okay. Right. Okay, so um, as always, let's go and do some appraising. Now, what are the opportunities we're looking at here? Um, for half a million, what exactly are you getting then? Uh, so you get in the restaurant, stairs to the first floor office, so the office with shower cubicle. Uh, so the office is, let's say 15 square meters plus another sort of four square meters, about 19 square meters upstairs. And then there's an outside loo. So really, all you are getting is the restaurant, which is vacant, and three flats with low leases. Uh, doesn't sound like very much, but why is it half a million? Why are they guided at half a million? 
The only thing I can think of in this case would be the garage. So this would be a development angle with the potential that you get some lease, uh, so a lease um, uplift. If we look for this 21 Queensbury news, okay. so BN1 to FE. Then with this, you can check. Um, Right move for sole prices, or we can go to Zoopla, find Zoopla. Easier to use for that. Uh, BN12FZ. Not for sale, house prices. Okay, so much. Okay, so current average value 436,000. Yeah, that's still not enough to call the guide. Okay. Oh, I just found out a bit. Uh, okay. So, what would you do then? How would you recoup your half a million? As I said, doing something quite different. Uh, there might be another angle. If you think that this restaurant would still trade, then there's potentially some money to be made from there. Um, and with that one, you probably do uh, find out what the rentals are for restaurants in in that in that location. Um, but the market as it is seems quite. Um, be brave to be paying half a million to get this type of this space so this is one this is one to you know to do to do some more research on um, if the if the house that you're going to build is for sixty thousand um, and you've already paid half a million and all you're getting by is for sixty thousand and that doesn't quite stack um, you've got potential to make thirty five thousand pounds from each of the um, lease extensions if they ask for uh, an extension to the lease. Uh, so that's 35, 35, 35. What's that? 105,000. Um, and then let's see if we can find how much you could potentially make from a commercial restaurant in, in that area. So go, let's look for properties for let. Okay. So it's two thousand pounds per annum. Gosh. All right. Do we have any? Okay, this might be more in keeping. Okay, there's a lock up shop. thinking could there be a permitted development angle but it, it looks like there aren't any windows on the ground floor of that building so the retail okay 12 and a half grand yeah so this one's fair it's quite difficult to to work out how much to of a value to place on there so 16,000 per annum assuming it's roughly the same size So if we said 16,000 per annum for that space, if you can find a tenant, then if you capitalize it based on the 10% yield, that's 160,000 um, pounds. So the income from, from, that area, from that property starts to stack a bit. Um, but I, there must be another reason why it's valued at that amount it doesn't doesn't uh, make sense but if that's all there is then this is definitely not not a deal um, 
but certainly if you see an angle uh, that I, I may have missed and uh, yes it is possible that I would have missed uh, an angle please do let me know um, but as, as with everything we try and dis decide what kind of strategy whoever goes for this would have in mind um, see if so I'm thinking the different income streams for this one would be the lease extensions and if you are looking at a property with a low lease then by all means go to this website the leasehold uh, portal.co.uk uh, and that, that would give you an idea as to uh, how much the lease leases could, could be extended for it's not a guarantee but it's potential but in this case we don't have any indication that anyone's uh, asked for the for their lease to be extended so which means that you have a, a vacant restaurant um, you have to try and find an occupier in this market uh, uh, right now there's coronavirus but it wouldn't be around forever so uh, when the virus is, is, has, has all disappeared and people are going out again is that restaurant going to attract the trade that you need and attract a tenant um, so yeah so that's something to think about so you have an empty shop five flats that have been sold on long leases three of which are below 55 years you might be investing for the long term i.e 55 years uh, with a view that whoever owns those flats wouldn't extend and then it reverts to you as a freeholder that's a very long-term investment um, is it possible to build a um, another flat at the top um, quite a lot of uh, flights of stairs to get to the top floor but that's um, that's not what we're looking at uh, so that's that I, you don't have any flats you don't have you just have the restaurant and the 19 square meter office with a, a tiny shower um, and the potential of land to the rear now if this two-bed detached house uh, we have no idea what the size of that building would have been uh, let me see if I can find anything this be the property might be this is uh, yeah it looks detached it does look nice though yeah this is probably it hmm. it's been used as a serviced accommodation it seems like okay so that's so that's the that's another angle you could look at. Uh, you might decide to um, uh, build it out and use it for serviced accommodation. Does this tell us the size of the build property? Let's see, it's no availability. There's nothing I can find on this. Okay, um, but yeah. If you, if you can get this, then it is worth something. Uh, whether you can sell it with the desirability of uh, passing this on and not just running it as a sales accommodation like uh, this person is, then it's, it's that, that opportunity uh, seems quite difficult to um, quantify at this stage. Uh, okay, well, if you spent half a million on all, all of that, then begs the question where is the profit as this one showing me hmm. one bedroom two bed. I'm sure this is a two bed house this one looks like it's it says here the one bed one bedroom house two single beds Right, so that's that's an opportunity. So, um, so the opportunities are stacking. You could uh, get planning for the garage. Of course, you'll be able to do it before the um, before the auction. Uh, but that's that's an opportunity there. 
you could uh, hope that the leaseholders ask for an extension to the lease. You could also um, find a tenant for the restaurant. So these are the sources of income that are, are, that are that, um, stand out for me on this on this opportunity. Doing the numbers in my head, I don't think there's much profit in it, but I could be missing something. Uh, and please do let me know if I am missing anything. Um, but this one isn't one I'm going to appraise with the Valap application. Uh, I could look at uh, the, the build opportunity. Let's, let's try and stack it to see if there's anything in it. Let's go in there. All information is pulled from uh, EPCs in the area, um, so 127 isn't on there. Um, so we're doing it for the up to the rear. Uh, two bed, let's say 61 square meters. Let's get some information. So it reckons here uh, flip. These green ones suggest that a flip could work out, uh, not flip, service accommodation. Uh, okay, it's a new build, uh, it, it wouldn't work, offer price would be 61,000. Let's look at this some more. Let's go to the units. So it values the house at 265. Right. Oops. If we so we added a commercial, let's see what's what uh, offer price it comes to. The commercial that unit uh bill costs something minimal. Yeah. Then per month, let's say a thousand. So even at that, it goes up to that amount. Um, so this is how much it's worth. This obviously this um, appraisal ignores the uh, ground rent piece. Um, now that's not guaranteed income, and appraising ground rent isn't what we do here. But even if we added the full value of the ground rent. Or the full estimated value of the ground rent is 105,000, uh, comes to gosh, 232,000, so 233,000 uh, approximately. So, sadly, the, this this property is not a deal that um, I would invest in. But if someone were to purchase it, I would like to find out what they're likely to do. And if you have any ideas as to what they might be trying to uh, achieve with this property, please do let us know. Thank you very much for listening. And until next time, thank you for joining me on the Auction Spy.